Hi everybody, R. Scott Williams here. It's Christmas time, yo ho ho! And I'm spending the next several days, at least, sending out my Christmas cards. This is an old one. Uh, this is this year's Christmas card. Oh, no, I don't want you to see that one. Um, this is last year's Christmas card. This is the year before that Christmas card. Are you detecting a pattern? I've been sending Christmas cards out uh, via snail mail since before snail mail was invented, and it was just mail. Over 35 years, I've been sending out Christmas cards, and each and every one of those cards is a picture of me. Because what could possibly be more festive than to open up an envelope and to pull this out? The picture of me, or in this case, two pictures of me. Sending Christmas cards is not really a strong tradition in my generation of baby boomers. Very few of us do it. I sent out 120 Christmas cards last year, and I got back 12. And four of those were from family. So we don't really do it. Um, it is a tradition of our parents, or at least my parents. I have very vivid, fond memories of my mother ordering the special order Christmas cards every year in October or November from Hallmark, and then waiting for them to be delivered in a big box with our names embossed on them, and then her spending night after night after dinner at the dinner table writing a little note in each card and handwriting the address, handwriting the return address, year after year. My mother's cousin, Mary Ellen, was cleaning out a closet this past year and she ran across a letter that she had received from my mother, handwritten, which of course, they were all handwritten back then. And she thought my sisters and my father might like to have it, so she copied it off and she sent it off to us. And it was dated January 4th, 1983 right after the holidays. And in it, my mother talked a little bit about what I was up to and what my sisters were up to. And she talked a little bit about her health, which was not good. It was a bad Christmas that year. She was uh, housebound. She was pretty much bedbound. She was on oxygen and it was a very difficult period of her disease. And in this letter, she apologized to her cousin, Mary Ellen, because she hadn't sent out Christmas cards that year. She said it was the first time in 40 years that she had not sent out Christmas cards. But, she wrote, but you'll get one next year. That was in January, and my mother died in March. So she didn't get to send that card. I think people may wonder why I go to the time and effort and expense of sending out Christmas cards when you can go online and send one out by pushing a button. Uh, which, by the way, if you are someone who sends electronic greeting cards, then please keep doing it. I love them. Uh, send them to me because I love getting them. But it's not me. My mother sent out Christmas cards every Christmas of her adult life except for one. That's good enough for me.